A few months ago, one of my favorite Twitch streamers reached out and asked me if I'd like to join him on a live stream. I was so excited. His name is Kip Boga, and he streams calls that he has with scammers, and last week I joined him on one of these calls. I was very nervous. In this video, I'm gonna tell you how it all went down while I show you how I made the cake for my guest appearance on his show. My name is Natalie Sidesurf, and I make cakes that don't look like cakes. And today I'm gonna show you how I made a Google Play card cake. Kit Boga pretends to be a potential victim of a scam, in this case over the phone, in order to waste the scammer's time so they aren't out there scamming real people out of money. While on the phone with these scammers, he pretends to be different characters by using a voice changer, and it is extremely entertaining and super funny. Mike, can That's you pipe nice. down? We're having a conversation here. The way the scam works is they tell you that someone used your credit card to make a purchase. Then when you tell them that you didn't make that purchase, the scammer offers to refund your money. They then proceed to connect to your computer and change your browser settings to make it seem as though you owe them a reimbursement due to a technical mistake. Mistake. The scammer then goes on to tell you about how he's going to lose his job thanks to this huge mistake that you made. <laughs> and the only way to fix this is if you purchase Google Play cards in order to give that money back to them. And that's where this cake comes in. Along with being on the stream, Kiboga asked me to make a Google Play card cake that we could somehow use during the call. So in true side surf fashion, I decided to include an older grandma hand that was made of cake holding the card because the card by itself was just too easy. Also, I just can't help myself. The hand adds that level of weirdness to the cake that I just love. I've sculpted hand cakes before, but never an older person's hand. Sounds like a delicious cake, huh? Happy birthday, Jack. And it definitely worked because the scammer's reaction was fantastic. And the chat really loved the cake reveal. They didn't know what the cake was gonna be either. I know it sounds kinda crazy, but that is the way the scam works. During the entire call, Kit Boga and I are in character, we're having fun, we're just dragging out the phone call as long as we possibly can in order to waste as much of the scammer's time as possible. As for our characters, Kit Boga acted as my grandma, and I was his granddaughter, Kim, who ran a cake business out of my grandma's basement. I really wanted to be a character somehow related to cake because when in doubt, I could just talk about cake. I could talk about cake all day long. <laughs> so at the start of the call, grandma and I are getting along. We're a happy family. And then as the call goes on, we start to bicker a little bit. And then towards the end, we literally get into an argument about which one of us is to blame for the money mistake. This was completely unplanned as far as the argument, and I'm so glad that it happened because I had such a good time pretending to be really, really mad at grandma. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I was pretty nervous going into this. <laughs> I've never done a prank phone call, let alone any kind of improv where I'm acting like another person. But even though I was nervous, I did what I always do when I get anxious about a new opportunity that is outside my realm of comfort. I force myself to do it anyway. <laughs> I am so happy that I didn't chicken out. Because once we got on the call and started talking to the scammer, I got comfortable and it got fun really, really quickly. Kit Boga is so nice and somehow he made it really easy to pretend that he was my grandma. <laughs> my approach to the call was just to say the first thing that popped into my head no matter how stupid or how little it made sense. <laughs> and it worked out. I'm actually really proud of myself for getting out there and doing something so out of my wheelhouse. I was really surprised because after the stream, a lot of people reached out to tell me that I did a good job. And some people even admitted that they were surprised how well I did. And I'll take it. Even I surprised myself. I'll put a link in the pinned comment so you can watch it and you can also judge my performance. And uh, you can also see how we incorporated the cake. I really hope you guys like it. Using my cakes in unique ways is one of my favorite things to do. And I don't think that it gets much more unique than using my cake to scam a scammer. 
And there you have it, a Google Play card cake. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel for a brand new cake every Monday. Now let's cut the cake.